Hello and welcome to this Roland uh, tuition video. Uh, what we're going to be looking at today is how to play a basic rock beat. Now, by a basic rock beat doesn't mean it's the easiest beat in the world to play. What, it, what a basic rock beat is, it's, it's, it's a rock beat that you find in a lot of songs and it's the beat on which most other beats are based. So we have to master this one first and then after that what we can do is embellish that in certain ways to create all the other beats. So it's very important that we get this down. Now the way this video is going to work is that um, what I want you to do is to uh, set your kit up, put the uh, your screen of your TV or your computer whatever in front of you and then what I want you to do is just to play along with what I'm doing so you should follow this in real time. Uh, on your machine you'll find there's a mix in uh, at the back as well so if you want you can um, you know, take a, a line out of your computer or whatever, put it into here, then you'll be able to hear what I'm saying as I go through it. So let's um, let's just introduce the bits on the kit that we've got. So um, this is obviously an, an electronic kit and it's replicating what you'd have on a normal kit. So just to give you an idea, just in case you don't know, what we've got is we've got um, a bass drum pedal down here. Now this pedal normally would be connected to a great big drum in the front of the kit. But here it's, it's with this one it's triggering down onto a rubber pad. And if I hit that I get a nice big bassy sound like this. So what I want you to do is I just want you to sit here, put your right foot on that pedal and I want you to just f get used to hitting it. I'm going to give you a count in. You've got to follow what I'm doing so keep up. So after four I want you to hit that. One, two, three three, four, bang. There you go. And we're going to uh, do that again just so you get used to it. One, two, three, four, bang. Right. Now in front of you, you have the snare drum. This is between your knees. And what I want you to do is after four, just hit that, get used to that sound. One, two, three, four. Okay. Here we've got a ride cymbal. Um, if you just hit, go through your cymbals now, you'll uh, notice that uh, these two are crash cymbals here. They've got like a, a crashy, splashy sound. Whereas this one's a ride cymbal and it's got more of a ding to it. So um, now you've worked out which one's those. Some, your kit may only have one crash cymbal and one ride cymbal. But if you uh, just go through and work out your ride cymbal, after, you, after four, hit the ride cymbal so we all know what we're hitting. One two, three, four. Lovely. Again, just to make sure you've got that one going. One, two, three, four. All right. Now what I want you to do is if you've got crash cymbals, if you've just got one, I want you to hit just one cymbal like this. But if you've got two like me, I want you to hit both cymbals with both sticks. So um, it will be like this. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Right, just try that again. One, two, three, four. Now in front of you, you should have two to three, maybe four drums here. And these are the tom-toms. And they've got this sort of sound. Toms across the front, we're going to number one, two, and three. So we've got one, two, three. Um, if you just got two, it'll be one and two. So I just want you to hit tom one after four. One, two, three, four. There's one, one, hit number two now, one, two, three, four. If you've got a third one, I want you to hit that now, one, two, three, four. And now hit this one here, and this is called the floor tom, because on a, a normal drum kit, this usually sits on the floor, so we call this a floor tom. So after four, shall we hit that, one, two, three, four. Now we should have hit everything on the drum kit except for this one here, which is the hi-hat. Uh, this is the most complex one. Yours may be um, a small pad with um, a foot pedal down here with your left foot on it. Um, mine's an actual hi-hat, so I've actually got a stalk running up, pedal at the bottom. And that connects to, to these two symbols here. If yours is just a pad, it's pretending to connect to those, and it will give you three sounds. Now, first, what I want you to do is take your foot off the hi-hat altogether, and I want you to hit it, and you should get what we call an open hi-hat sound, which is like another splash sound like that. So what, I'm, what we're going to do is just after four, you're going to count in. I want you to hit that one. Let's see how that one sounds. One, two, three, four. The other sound we can get with the hi-hat 
is by hitting it with our foot, moving our foot up and down, to get like a little chip sound like this. So if you just want to put your foot on there, get used to that, and then I'm going to count you in again. One, two, three, four. Lovely. And then the most important sound, which is where you keep that shut, right, and you hit it on the top and get like a tap sound. Now a little tip, first tip, or what I want you to do is, is, is put your foot on the hi-hat and then just lift your heel up by about that far, okay? And that will keep this shut and give you that tap sound. And this is the first sound we're going to work on today in a minute. But just what I want you to do is after four is just tap along like this. Um, you know, just do one hit like this. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Now what we're going to do, most important thing on a, for a drummer is to be able to keep a beat and keep time. So we're going to start by just tapping on the hi-hat and trying to keep time. So I'm going to count you in. I just want you to tap along with me and try and uh, keep time with me. So we, I'll be doing this. And I just want you to join in and tap along. OK, you ready? So I'm going to tap along and I want you to tap along with me. So here we go, after four. One, two, three, four. I keep tapping, I just want to tap along and try and feel the rhythm of that as you're playing. Lovely. Now keep tapping, I'm going to tell you some stuff about this hi-hat pattern. In drumming, we, we can't just tap along like this. We have to give each of these taps a name so we can start doing stuff with it. And the way we name them is by counting. Now in drumming, in, in drumming Sorry, right. I'm trying to talk and tap at the same time. I'm supposed to be a drummer, but I'm having problems already. Right, in drumming, we are uh, counting fours. Um, so we count like this. One, two, three, four. But that's not what, how we're going to count these, because I want to space these hi-hats out a little bit so we can do a little bit more with them. So what I want you to do, I hope you're tapping at home. You've got to keep tapping all the time with me. Is I want you to count along using this count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I'll stop there. We'll just uh, have a reconvene about what we're doing here. What you're doing is you're tapping along on the hi hat, you're counting up to four, but you put ands in between. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You're going to speed this up a little bit now. I'm going to count you back in. I want you to come in straight away and we're going to do that eight times, right? And um, I want you to count out loud, keep the count going and, and, and we'll do it eight times and then stop. Let's, so let's see how we get on with this, okay? So after four, one, two, Three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and lovely now we're going to do that on a couple of the other instruments as well just to get the hang of it so because it was a little bit faster and you may have uh, you may have um, got a bit gone wrong or but got a bit confused so you're now going to do it over here on the ride cymbal so we're going to be going one and two and three and four and and we're now going to do that eight times as well over here so are you ready uh, here we go here goes one and two and three and four and 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 lovely now that's our basic ruler or measurer now that we're going to build 
our basic rock beat upon. The hi-hats is going to act as the bass and we're going to add other instruments in. Uh, today what we're going to be adding in is the bass drum, then we're going to be adding the snare drum in and then we're going to add them both together. When we add those both together we should have a basic rock beat and, uh, and then you'll be able to use that to play along to different songs and, and stuff like that. So if you're ready let's have a go. Right, so first we're going to add the bass drum to it and we're going to add the bass drum just to beat one. So it's going to be like this. One and two and three and four and one and... You see we're back to the hi-hat as well. Can you see that? Keep counting out loud. So we're going to do that after four. I'm going to stop counting once we're into it. You've got to keep going. Try to play along with me and uh, we're going to do eight times. So if you're ready, um, we'll try this. Now this does take a little bit of coordination. So you may want to practice this first. You may want to just practice hitting the hi-hat and the bass drum together, these two things together, to get this sound. So you just want to try that after four. One, two, three, four, bang! And hit them both together like that. Try that again. One, two, three, four, bang! Now if you just want to try that out now, make sure you've got that. So you're going to be putting that onto beat one. All right? You ready? So here we go, after four. One, two, three and four and one and two and 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 three. Keep going. Keep counting out loud as well. You really need to know where, the, where these numbers are. We'll keep going. I will do more than eight. I was going to do eight, but I'm going to keep going here. So you start to get used to the feel of doing that. That's good. Okay, that's good. Right? So we're going to try that again. We're going to try over here on the ride symbol. Okay? So we're going to be doing this. One and two and three and four and one. And two and three and four. You ready? Here we go then. After four, one, two, three and four and one and two and 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 three and four. Great. Now we're going to add another bass drum on number three and we're going to go back to the hi-hat again. So uh, that is going to sound like this. One, two, three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and keep going. Great, I'm going to try that on the ride symbol, and I'm not going to count along this time, so I want you to move over here and keep going, I'm just going to count you in, right, after four, one, two, three, and four, and... Great. All right, we'll give the bass drum a rest now. We're now going to move to the snare drum. Now, let's look at the way we're sitting a little bit now. Now you're getting into this a little bit. Um, when we play in the snare drum, we actually play with our right hand crossed over the top of our left hand. So our hands are in this position here. Okay, now, the best way to get your hands into position is imagine that your snare drum 
is like a big pizza and it's been divided into um, six segments like they normally divide a pizza. And you're about to eat the first segment here right at the start. So what I want you to do with your sticks is put the tips of the sticks into the middle, right like that. And I want you to make a, a slice of pizza like I'm doing like that. Have you all got that? You've got your slice of pizza there. Now try and sit up straight, right, so you're in position. And then keep your left hand where it is and bring your right hand over to your hi-hats. And one of the things you're trying to do is make sure your arm and your stick is all in line and that this is all in line. And the reason why we're making that slice of pizza there is because that will keep your hand in line. Now when we hit the snare drum, it's actually quite tricky because we've got to lift both sticks up and bring them down together. Now if you do this right, a lot of my students get really, they try and play under here and they feel like the sticks are going to go. But if you actually lift both sticks up like this and bring them down together, they, they should mi miss each other if you're in the slice of pizza shape. You see that there? So you just want to practice a couple of times hitting that. If you're having a problem, just try and keep the sticks low and just keep hitting like that till you get, it, till you get used to it. All right? Now what we're going to do, this beats, um, we're going to put the snare drum, it's a little bit harder, we're going to put the snare drums on numbers two and four. So we're going to slow this up a little bit. So it's basically, basically going to go like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Right, you're just trying that at home. And if you think you've got it, just mess around with that a little bit now. It's on two and four. It takes a little bit of concentration. One and two and three and four and. Okay? Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go for eight times on that. I'm going to count you in. If you're ready, if you're having problems, just pause and, and sort it out. And, uh, and we're going to try and do it now. Hi hat, make sure your hi hat shut, your heels off the ground a little bit, right? Slice of pizza. Right hand over, and we're going to go like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and 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 three, and and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and great now you're going to try it here over on the ride symbol after four one two three and four and Just shout it out loud so you can see where that two is. So you're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and great. So now we're going to try and put these two together. We're going to put the bass drum on one and three as well as putting the snare drum on two and four. And finally, we'll be play, playing a basic rock beat. Now, this will be the first proper thing you've play, ever played on the drums because this is the beat which all the other beats are based upon. And once you get this and you've mastered it on the drum kit, you'll find there's loads of songs you can play with this. So we're going to try and get this up, and then what we're going to try and do is bring in some music that will show you all the different styles that you can play with this beat. You see, the thing with the drums is the drums is not like the guitar or keyboards or whatever, where you have to learn a song and then when you finish that song, you've got to learn another song. The great thing about the drums is, is that we play different beats and those beats can be used in different types of songs. So you'll find there's hundreds of songs that you can play with this beat. So once you've got this, you will know the actual beat that goes to hundreds of songs. And when you listen on the radio, you'll hear um, those beats being used. Also on your kit, you'll find there's loads of backing tracks and you can start to try and play this beat along with those tracks. Um, you'll find it alters depending on where you're playing on the drum beat, the, the drum kit. 
but you'll find that this beat is actually the basis of all the other rock beats. So let's have a go at this. So I'll just recap again what we're going to be doing. We're going to put the bass drum on one and three, and we're going to put the snare drum on um, two and four. So I'm going to sh show you it so, so you can hear what it sounds like. It's a bit like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Now if you play it fast it would sound like this. So you hear there's a proper rock beat we got going on, but we're going to do it dead slow. And uh, um, I want you to count out um, one and two and three and four, but I'm also going to shout bass and snare. So one way of playing this pattern is to think of it like this. Bass and snare and bass and snare and. And when you're doing the ands, you're just hitting the hi-hat. So we're going to break this one up as well, because it's, it's, it's harder to try and coordinate your, your right foot and your left hand. This is it's a little bit trickier. So I just want you to go do the individual hits along with me. So the first thing I want you to hit is bass drum and hi-hat together, like this. So after four, one, two, three, four, bass drum and hi-hat. There we go. Then I just want you to hit a hi-hat on its own, after four. One, two, three, four, just hi-hat. Don't worry about getting these in time, as long as you go through this with me. Next one is going to be snare drum and hi-hat together, like this. So after four, one, two, three, four, and then another hi-hat on its own. One, two, three, four. So if you put these all together, you've got bass drum and hi-hat, hi-hat, snare drum and hi-hat, hi-hat. So that would be like this. Uh, let's, I'm going to run through again. Bass drum and hi-hat, two, three, four, bang. Just hi-hat, two, three, four, tap. Snare drum and hi-hat, two, three, four, bang. Um, just hi-hat, two, three, four, tap. Now, let's just run through that really slowly now. So basically, I want you to do this. Bass drum and hi-hat, hi-hat. Snare drum and hi-hat, hi-hat. Bass drum and hi-hat, hi-hat. Snare drum and hi hat, hi hat. All right. Should we do it after four? One, two, one, two, three, four. Bass drum and hi hat, hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat, hi hat. Bass drum and hi hat, hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat, hi hat. Bass drum and hi hat, hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat. Hi hat. Once more. Bass drum and hi hat. Hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat. Hi hat. One, two, three, four. Bass drum and a hi hat. Hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat. Hi hat. Bass drum and hi hat. Hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat. Hi hat. Bass drum and hi hat. Hi hat. Snare drum and hi hat. Hi hat, bass drum and hi hat, hi hat, snare drum and hi hat, hi hat. All right, let's try it up to speed now. So we're going to be doing bass drum and hi hat, hi hat, snare drum and hi hat, hi hat, like that. You can hear the rock beat starting to come together now. One, two, one, two, three, four. Just play along with me. That's good. Now as you relax and that starts to feel comfortable, you've got to try and bring your count back in like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. 
that's it. And three. And four. Knee there. And one more. And two. And three. And four. And right. I'm going to speed it up to this speed now. One. And two. And three. And four. And one. And two. So you ready? After four. One. Two. Three. And four. And one. And two. And 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 three. And four. And one. And Right, you're going to move it over to the ride symbol now. After four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and two, and one, and two, and three, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four. So like I said, now you've learnt that beat, what we can do is we can, we can start to play along to some music and you can see all the different styles of music which you can play with this beat. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off on that hi-hat and then I want you to keep going, playing along with me and then um, what's going to happen is, is that some music's going to come in behind what you do, all different styles, I'll show you different styles we can do and I'm going to stop playing, I'll keep tapping along. I'll stop playing and I just want you to keep going. Get used to playing that rock beat, but the music will be changed, so concentrate. If you have any problems, just keep counting out loud the whole time. So you ready? After four. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. And three and four and one. Right, keep going, keep it going. One thing we'll, we'll bring a bit of funk in underneath, underneath this. So keep going, you ready? To four. Keep that going. One, two, three, four, and there we go. Keep that going, count out loud. Four and one. And four and one. Right. Now give it. Gonna keep it a little bit of a rock feel. Keep playing it. After four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. That's good. Now we're gonna. I think I have a bit of disco coming underneath this now. Nice disco feel. After four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and so just hold it, we see what happens. That's it. Hold the beat down. I'm gonna start stop playing in a minute. I want you to keep going. Keep that going. That's the one. Keep that playing that, that's great. I'm gonna come back in to keep playing, keep playing the beat. A lot of my students, when I start um, getting to do rock beats, they do them for about 20 seconds and then they stop. And I always say to them, you know you're gonna have to play all the way through a song at some point, and that's like five minutes. So if you think you've been playing for a long time, you've gotta get used to this, because this is what a drummer does. Right, we're gonna stop after four. One, Two, three, four, and stop. All right, we're gonna try it over on the ride symbol a little bit faster, I think here. You ready? 
It's a lot faster. If you want to just get used to that, try that one out there a little bit faster. Um, if you have trouble at this speed, you might want to just practice that, rewind back and do that one again. But if you think you can get this speed now, we'll do that, and then that'll be the end of this lesson for now, okay? So just keep going. I'll be counting out, and we'll see what happens. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and Keep going, yeah. I might play along a bit with you.
it. Let's have a reconvene about what we're doing here.